Davenport. Your results came back today. I have them here, Mrs. Davenport. And now at last, I think that I can safely say good news, Mrs. Davenport. You're healing very well. You've got no cause to sing the blues, Mrs. Davenport. As far as I can tell, you may want to spend this week in bed and pray those hideous hives don't spread. That said, Mrs. Davenport, you're healing very well. That's right, Mrs. Davenport. You're doing almost fine. Your short-term future's looking bright, Mrs. Davenport. Despite your broken spine, <laughs> you might want occasion need these pills. Those nights you struggle to breathe, <laughs> we want still Mrs. Davenport. <laughs> you do it almost fine for someone very ill. Who's <laughs> right now? You're still alive. Well, less good news. You're healthy as a horse. But horses die at 25. Don't <laughs> It helps to keep your spirits high, Mrs. Davenport. When slowly going blind, your life will be looking far less bleak. Once loss of memory hits next week. Don't speak, Mrs. Davenport. Preserve your peace of mind. Unless, of course, that hurts. <laughs> Good news! <laughs> I'm here, Mrs. Davenport. At least you're looking thin! In time, your fears will disappear, Mrs. Davenport. By fears, I mean your skin. <laughs> you might want to try and dry those tears. They look so weird coming out your ears. <laughs> Cheers, Mrs. Davenport. At least you're looking thin. It's probably from the worms. <laughs> this morning, you awoke. <laughs> More good news. Your nose is looking great in photos. Back before it broke. <laughs> I'd say you're sturdy as an oak, Mrs. Davenport. An oak that's made of glass. <laughs> I know it's a challenge acting right when things keep feeling wrong. But good news, Mrs. Davenport, I doubt you'll suffer long. Good news, Mrs. Davenport. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong chart. <laughs> I'm afraid your news is quite bad. 